and then maybe get our first Belgian beer, which I've heard is all, it's good. I've heard they're all good, so I don't know how I'm going to pick one. That's our house beer. It's the only place you can drink it. It's here. On a scale of one to ten, I give this a one and a half. Yeah. We are in Ghent, and it is so cute, and everything looks like a fairy tale. And the Airbnb we're staying at had a guest book where people wrote suggestions of places to go, and there was tons of suggestions to this place for breakfast called Pain Purdue, and I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but that's where we're headed now. Um, and then I think we're also going to go to the castle today, so here we go. We just got our food. I got the toast with hummus and some stuff, other stuff on it. It looks like, I can't remember, it was red onions, goat cheese, springs maybe, and a salad. It looks delish. And Kyle got something that I don't know how to pronounce, and we weren't sure what it was, but it looks like, kind of looks like a grilled cheese sandwich with maybe ham or something in it. And it looks so yummy, and it smells really good and I want to devour. Mm. It's delicious. It's very rich. Probably from the goat cheese. It's blended though. It's very creamy and crunchy. And I'm going to try the salad. Mm. That's a good side salad because it's very light. It's got like oil on it. Delicious. Alright, and I forget the name of mine, but like she was saying, it's like a, almost like a fancy grilled cheese. Um, it's got gouda and ham, I think, in it. And it looks really good. It tastes really good too. It tastes like a good fancy grilled cheese. But I think the best part is the bread. It's like a rustic, fresh, house made bread. So it's real good. Would you like to taste? Yes, please. Um, is everything alright? Yeah, very yeah. good. Um, we found this just by chance when we were walking through and it's so cool in here and I just looked up some of the history and um, it used to just be a normal alleyway and then people started to make it what it is today and then in 1995 they made it so that you can publicly just um, anyone can come in I guess sometimes they'll paint over so that you can have a fresh start um, but anyone can come in it's constantly changing and it's so cool now we're on our way to the castle um, we're hoping to do a tour uh, it's one of those audio guided tours so hopefully we'll learn a lot of history um, we don't know if we can film in there or not but we can definitely film the outside so either way you'll get a good look at it
finished our guided audio tour of the castle. Um, there was a lot of information and some of it was kind of silly, but we did learn that this was built by a man named Philip and he was not a king, he was a count, um, but he did build it to kind of show off his wealth. And um, he didn't live very long um, and he was one of the first people to join a crusade and he wanted to cleanse himself of his sins and they told him that joining a crusade would cleanse him of all of his sins but then he ended up dying over there. Um, he had a couple wives that he had here in the castle and um, it's huge. Like I feel like if we didn't have this thing guiding us around, we would have gotten okay, lost. Do not it's so big. And yeah, it's really cool here. Um, it feels like we stepped back in history, like we're in the medieval days. That's how it really feels. We just finished up at the castle and we exceeded both of our expectations. I think Madison said it, but it was a lot bigger inside than it looks from the outside. Like a lot of spiral staircases, um, which were cool just to look at the way that they were built. All the steps were made out of like one slab and then the column was made out of that same slab that the step was made out of. But really cool, really beautiful. And uh, that's all we had planned for the day. So we're probably just going to, I don't know, maybe get some chocolate, maybe get a waffle and then maybe get our first Belgian beer, which I've heard is hard. it's good. I've heard they're all good, so I don't know how I'm gonna pick them. So we'll catch you guys back at the Airbnb. That's our house beer. <laughs> the only place you can drink it is here. First Belgian beer. All right, so we just finished our last day in Ghent. And we're very sad. We wish we would have stayed here longer. Yeah, we were just talking about how we wish we would have spent more days here. And that's what we kind of decided after the first few days of travel is that we wish we would have booked more days places. So we actually just booked a place for eight days um, somewhere in Germany. Um, and we're wishing we would have done that here, giving ourselves at least, at least one more day. There's a lot of stuff that we could have done. And it's just fabulous here. It's yeah. like a fairy tale here. We ended the day on the river um that's how we ended yesterday too there's this little area by the river that you can sit by and people are always like crowded around there seems like everybody in town goes to that river in the evening to just hang out and eat and so we got fries with samurai <laughs> sauce <laughs> and sat by the river and it was a nice way to end the evening yeah i think that's what we're gonna miss most about belgium is the fries with the sauce so good. we've had them like six or seven times already <laughs> and it's so been good. our dinner twice or three times no <laughs> so good um but tomorrow is another travel day um we're taking a two and a half hour bus ride to our next stop in rotterdam rotterdam so it's our first time in netherlands and we're only spending a couple days in netherlands as a whole but we're excited to see what what netherlands has for um, us and i'm sure we'll see some cool things see mm -hmm. the sights and just take it all in so by the way, our hair looks so crazy right now because it was so <laughs> really windy. windy outside. So windy. It's been pretty nice out, but today it was really windy. Yeah. So our hair is just like so crazy. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So we will see you guys tomorrow on the bus. Peace. <laughs>